Why am I dressed as a crocodile? Emma, you can get a, a dragon outfit. Just to take because you're a dragon. Oh. <laughs> Why should we boast of Arthur and his knights, knowing how many men have performed fights? Or why should we speak of Sir Lancelot du Lake, or Sir Tristram du Leon, that fought for ladies' sake? Read but old stories, and there you shall see how Saint George, Saint George, he made the dragon flee. Saint George, he was for England. I was born in Malta. St. George, who was born in Malta, was for England. And lived most of his life in Turkey. Okay. Sorry. St. George, who was born in Malta, and who lived most of his life in Turkey, was for England. St. Dennis was for France. Sing honey soy ki mali pence. Once there was a there was a village terrorized by a terrible terrible animal the dragon and to appease the dragon the villagers had to give gifts of delicious food and drink from their local shop mm. and so the villagers fed the dragon with goodies from his stores <laughs> when the gifts of Heathstall's fabulous foods were no longer enough to satisfy the dragon, she demanded to eat the people of the village. Excuse me? Uh, yes? I'm vegan. Emma, for the purposes of the video, you are a meat-eating, people-eating dragon. Okay. Just pretend you're flexitarian. Right. Uh, yeah. And thus she demanded to be fed the people of the village. <laughs> But an unfortunate princess was chosen and led quivering to the dragon. But brave St. George came to her defense and a great battle ensued. And ultimately, the great plucky Maltese Turkish St. George defeated the dragon. Get out of my shop! Did those feet